Well, hey, Keenan. Hey, this is Pastor Daniel. Uh, coming to you in our third week as we as a nation and world have been battling this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So I pray that all of you are staying healthy and, and making wise decisions and steering clear as best as possible from any exposure to this thing. Um, I just want to come to give you a weekly update and tell you about some other things coming up. Um, first of all, yesterday was a good day. So thanks to all of you that connected with us in our service online. Uh, we had over 500 people that uh, viewed the, the, the service and participated. And uh, last week had over 2,700 people reach through Facebook posts and whatnot. So thank you for doing everything you can to stay connected to our faith community at Canaan, uh, just virtually. And we're going to continue to try to be creative and innovative in, in ways we can stay connected as best as possible through this crazy, unprecedented time that we find ourselves in. Um, but one good thing, uh, in addition to others, is uh, we had several of our connection groups meet uh, via Zoom, which is an online uh, platform, and had over 200 people gather together uh, through this virtual connection. So that's exciting. So all you connection group leaders that, that led out in that, thank you for providing such a needed um, service to our people that need to be connected. So thank you. So a lot of good things came out of that, you know, just in addition to the Bible teaching and, and good conversation. Oh, one of our connection groups actually, in addition to their regular time, uh, actually had a, a battleship uh, tournament. So uh, they, that, it's not over yet. I think the, the championship round is like tonight or tomorrow night. So that's a great idea. Just, just ways to have fun together, be connected virtually uh, in a way that edifies each other. So great job there. Um, also, as you meet in your Zoom um, connection groups, uh, connection leaders, or any other tech savvy, you could take like a screenshot of those and email them to one of us here at the church or info at KNSTL. That would be great. You want to kind of make a collage of just how people are being connected and get some different snapshots of your Zoom meeting. So that would be super if you could help us out with that. That would be fantastic. Um, giving, another praise. Uh, so the first week of this, we were you know, only received about uh, you know 40% of what we normally need to get. Last week, we were up to about 80%. Well, this week, we actually hit over our mark. So praise the Lord for your faithfulness. And we just pray, I pray you continue to be faithful in your giving so we can continue doing the ministry. Also, as we prepare to uh, really increase our benevolence, uh, there's, there's going to be a great need, uh, as I'm sure you're well aware of. So thank you for your faithfulness uh, to giving. Again, there's several ways you can give. We talk about this all the time. This is a reminder you can give online through our website. Uh, you can also give through our Canaan STL app. Uh, you can mail your check in or you can actually come and drop it off. So this is big. Don't miss this. For those of you that prefer to drop your check off here at the church, tomorrow our, our, our team is actually installing a mail slot. So it will be by the door entrance for the child check in. So uh, there will be a slot put in, so you can just come and drop your drop your check off through the mail slot. It will go into a, a lock box, so uh, that'll be added tomorrow. It's when our team puts that in. So probably starting this Wednesday, you can bring your checks by and drop them off through the mail slot. Um, so online through the app, mail or, or drop off. And the fourth way is we you can text to give. And that information will be on a graphic for you, the number to, to text that to. So, and of course, you can always just do it through bill pay at your local bank. Uh, just good luck. You pay your bills online through your bank. You can just do your tithe and your giving check that way as well. So thank you for your faithfulness and praise the Lord for just how um, he's blessing us and you are being faithful in giving. Um, so getting ready for Easter. So a week from this Sunday is Easter Sunday. And as you well know, President Trump has extended our um, home, you know, bound um, kind of status till April 30th. So we are not going to be able to gather here Easter Sunday, which really breaks my heart. I know it breaks yours too, but we're still going to make the best of it. And so we're trying to do some, some different things for Easter Sunday. So here's one thing I need. I need you to take a photo um, or even a, a, a short video of you and what, what you're doing as a family, like a family photo. What is, what is being homebound? right now look like for your family so uh, if you could send those in that's the way we're gonna we're gonna kind of make a, a video compilation to show on easter just showing different families and a way we can stay connected um, that way on easter sunday also on easter sunday we will be taking the lord's supper together virtually so the only thing is we're not able to provide you the elements so 
plan now on how can you get some Lord's Supper elements. And don't get fancy. Just get some, some grape juice. It doesn't have to be welches. So you just get some grape juice um, and get some crackers. You don't have to have the, the actual communion wafers. Just get some crackers, Ritz crackers, saltines, whatever, and uh, just have those ready. And on Easter Sunday morning, we're going to take the Lord's Supper together as a church family. So really look forward to that. That's going to be a neat time. It's going to be different, but it's going to be neat. Um, so just want you to start planning ahead now. Whenever you get out to the grocery store, if you have someone to go to the grocery store for you, make sure just a couple of those items are on your list um, to procure. Um, and then um, lastly, I just want to talk about um, yesterday's message. Um, it was we talked about uh, Jesus walking on water. And also, I want to give you some discussion questions each week that you can talk about as a family. Some of our connection groups use these questions to kind of drive their time together as well. So just want to give you these questions and also be posted as well. But uh, the first question is we talked about Jesus. And, you know, the first point was that when we do things without Jesus, we tend to struggle. And so the first question is, what is an example from your life uh, of how you struggled when you try to do something apart from Jesus, or maybe when you were in a season where you weren't very close to Jesus and you were trying to do things on your own, what did that struggle look like? Just share that openly and just uh, let others hear your story about what does it look like when we're not connected to Jesus now that impacts day-to-day -day living. Second, second question is we talked about, you know, what did the disciples learn through this season of adversity? Well, for us, great application. What are, what are you learning right now about Jesus through this season we're in of COVID-19. And the third question is similar. What are you learning about yourself through this season of COVID-19 adversity? Um, so share that with one another and prayerfully consider those things and how we can apply these great truths of scripture to our life. And then the last question is, we talked about um, in the, you know, the response, the appropriate response to Jesus. You know, the disciples in, in Matthew's version of this um, historical account, they responded by falling on their knees and saying, you know, truly, you are the Son of God. And so we unpack what an appropriate response looks like to Jesus, how to acknowledging who he is, trusting in him alone, then realigning our life to follow him. So just a simple question to end this time together this week is, um, how do you need to further align your life to Jesus to follow him more closely? So think through that, pray through that, and have some good conversation with the kids, grandkids, or uh, in your connection groups or just, you know, with other people online. So I'm um, praying for you. Gosh, I miss you guys so much. Um, this is really hard on us extroverts, but, you know, we're going to persevere. But anyway, praying that y'all stay safe and wise, and we're going to continue to try to do everything we can to stay connected. Have a great rest of the week. Uh, you'll see Brian Davidson tomorrow and Pastor Martin on Thursday as we continue to, to send out videos to keep you connected. Have a great one. God bless.